So in the mornings, one of our uh, favorite things to do every day is just for fun, no purpose at all. We like to take our combine and take all the sieves out and just inspect it, you know, make sure everything's working right, put it all back together. This morning we had record time, we got her done in about 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20. So yeah, I actually got some footage of it, here it is. Welcome to the Red River Valley of North Dakota. A land flowing with milk and honey. You're watching Beat Farmin' Mitch. Jenny and I are both ill. It was a long week at work this week. I was working in the yard all week from like sun up to pretty much sundown, probably seven o'clock at night. Mostly doing shop work and servicing the combines and switching them over from wheat to pinto beans. It's been a pretty miserable week, but you know, that's just what it's like on the farm. Sometimes you just, you gotta work when, you, when you're when you ill and you gotta switch things over because now it's time to combine beans, so here we go. It's bean season, baby. So we got nice beans here and we're picking them up with the Elmer's pickup headers. And it's, these, we got a good bean crop here. Things look nice, good quality beans in there. Nice and shiny. I like it. Yeah, hopefully we just cruise along and fill trucks up. But rolling. This thing basically just rakes them up off the ground because they're already knifed. The knife disconnected the actual plant from the ground. Uh, these are actually planted in 22 inch rows and we knifed them together so this is actually like 44 inches between each but technically there was two rows into one so that's how that works. But it's always fun combine and pinto beans. It's such a field to table kind of crop you know I mean you, you have pinto beans in your burritos you have them Rice and beans, you know, classic. Ham and beans, good stuff. Hello? How's it going? Yes, we're kind of flying through beans this year. It is a good problem, yes. All right, well, yeah, let me know when you get close and we'll see you soon. All right, love you. Well, that's everybody's favorite beet farm and Mitch character right there. these beautiful oh it's my beautiful <laughs> wife and now ladies and gentlemen it's time for one of our favorite beef farm and mitch moments jenny what did you bring today i brought a lot of stuff but i have to bring one thing homemade each time so i made you a smoothie a smoothie yep and i mentioned earlier we both have some colds so this ought to hit the spot <laughs> and then i brought some vitamin c and vitamin Vitamin C and vitamin C. Well, I, some zinc. I shouldn't say zinc. I don't know. Oh, zinc. Cut that no, out. I, I kind of like it. I think cut that out. Zinc should officially be referred to as vitamin C. <laughs> okay, and then a hot ham cheese, which you have to eat quick. Hot ham and cheese. This is from the gas station. And it won't be hot. And it'll if be I don't warm eat it. ham and cheese. Warm ham and cheese. Or cold. Yeah. Whatever your preference. Yeah. Pretty good either way. And a lot of other goodies. Oh. You can just cook it on the dash. I had. I made some. Kind of miss it. I made some cinnamon rolls. This Ooh. Morning. Ooh, cinnamon rolls. I didn't want you to miss out in a cookie. cookie and yeah. gotta have your sugar. Some hard salami wrapped. Goodness sweet. Cheese wrapped. Oh, those salami. are those are excellent. Love um, those. Cheese cracker. I don't know if I'm on a cheesecake today. And some applesauce and cut fruit. Applesauce and cut fruit. I like it. Sounds like we're in a good place. Can I guess what flavors are in here? Definitely orange juice. Naturally. Banana. Yep. Lemon? No. Yeah, lemon. No. A little bit of honey? No. 
There's like a something zesty in there. Grain tank three quarters full. So that's how you know you got a good pinto bean crop is when you make one one round and it's three quarters full. So I throttle down all the way, press the unload button. You don't want to play chicken with the augers, so. though. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta unload two combines at the same time a lot of the time. Have you ever hit someone else? No, and even if, I think if they did touch a little bit, it would just be like the plastic or rubber part. Yeah. So, probably wouldn't be the end of the world. Probably would be okay, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna try it. You don't wanna test it. Can I open it for you? You should, you should pray. You should pray. Thank you for this food for this harvest. Name. Name, All right, thank you. Sometimes you don't have time to pray much. So pray what you can. All you have to say is thanks. Yeah. It's not about what you say. Well, it kind of is sometimes. <laughs> but it's about who you say it to. Who you say it to, that's <laughs> the right. true God. Yeah. It's like a sandwich. Good, looking good. I wasn't talking about the pinto beans. Oh. <laughs> that's a little bit. There's a lot going on. This thing is like flying a spaceship. You ever seen the movie Interstellar? So pretty much the same movies. thing. Saving the world so one crop at a time. Technically, farmers are astronauts. Yes. And of course, we drive Case IH. Have you ever seen Interstellar? <laughs> Do they really? Mm hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, uh, how have you been? I've been pretty good. Been there, done that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in a combine. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I'm out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we were combining along here and Jenny had a good eye. She found a big old chunk of wood. We don't want to suck that through the combine. Nice work. The old rugged, piece of the old rugged cross, huh? <laughs> well, I started to lose engine power while I was combining. So I think my air filter is full of dirt and stuff. I mean, we blow them out every day, but I hardly combined with this one yesterday, so we didn't. But we don't have an air compressor in the field right now, but we're just a mile away from one of our yards and that has an air compressor. So, and Jenny happens to be here with my pickup, so that's convenient, that works out. So we're gonna go blow this air filter out and I'm sure it's pretty dirty, so let's go see it. Whenever you take an air filter out, make sure you shut the combine off. It's all plugged up. I wonder if I don't have a leak in the system somewhere. This shouldn't be that full. Bean dust. There's nothing worse than bean dust. Bean dust is tough. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if they were wrestling in the dirt or there's oil and grease and mud and Lord knows what on those clothes. So if anyone knows how to get stuff out of farmer's clothing. You ask your wives and let me know, because I'd like to know. sucking in bean dust somewhere because shouldn't be getting that full I wouldn't think. Okay so I'm servicing combines this is the next day we'll be right back but I wanted to show you what the problem was here so on these here's the air filter and this is their like a rebreather pipe or something so my uncle 
checked it out, it's plugged full. So we cleaned it all out, blew it out with the air hose, had to take it all apart. It goes all the way over to the exhaust after here. But clean that out, again, that was our problem. So hopefully we got nice clean air filter now. But just wanted to key in on that. Anyway, back to your scheduled programming. Hopefully this should go pretty quick. I'm hoping so, yeah. I mean, we, were, we got a whole quarter here, but with us all going, it, it disappears fast. Especially since we're picking up these half beans here, you can go a lot faster than just straight combining them. Well, this is Bean Farm and Mitch. And Bean Farm and Jenny. And don't forget to keep things sweet.